Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel everyone and thank you for being here for your reading. We are looking into the next 48 hours, so what you need to know in these next couple of days, what's coming in, what's coming up. Um, it is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or to the cross which is connecting with a Scorpio. That's going to be helpful for you as well. So before I begin, please, please subscribe to the channel. That would be wonderful. Also, if you wanted to become a channel member to get member only content um, and access to that, feel free to do so via the join button or I have included the link below um, in the description box. Um, otherwise, for private readings, please email me directly and I can send you details for booking um, because I am currently accepting uh, private readings. Okay, so otherwise, let's jump into this next 48 for Scorpio. Okay, what's coming up, Scorpio? Okay, Leo's coming through. Leo, Sag or Aries want to communicate. Okay, someone wants to have an important conversation about the future with you. Um, it's something someone's been controlling about before. Okay, it's there's control around this, this conversation. It's been delicate before. You've tried to talk to your person about this before, but it didn't work out. And now all of a sudden they want to take a different vantage point of it okay can be around a new start okay temperance has come up twice one is reverse the other one is upright okay someone was someone wants peace around the situation the other is the other is not as peaceful the other one's a bit feisty who's the feisty one here someone wants to talk about this they want to come from a good angle but the other's not having it not interested or it's like it blows up very quickly or was that five of swords okay there could be another person involved here okay so okay i'm getting a conversation around a third party situation so you're addressing someone about other people if they're seeing other people being exclusive someone's here still talking to an ex maybe we've got the moon in the background here so someone's ex is still in the picture still in the background Okay, the high priestess follow your intuition as it's she's guiding you here you're you're in a priestess that's very important for you to do okay you've got two aces here so there's and three of wands three of wands has come up twice okay there's definitely a third party situation happening here some sort of love triangle now three's a crowd someone's got options and the other person knows of it and a conversation is going to come to a to a head here the high priestess is like can also be like withholding information so i feel like someone's keeping a secret from you maybe they're meeting up with their ex maybe their ex messaged them they added added them on social media there might be a bit of um there might be a bit of like secrecy going on here and someone's not being completely honest with what's with what's going on in the situation here and I think the conversation is gonna is, is, is gonna pop up here and the conversation that I feel like you came close to talking about this before but maybe they just blew up they got super defensive they just shut you down the opportunity will come up again for this conversation I still feel like maybe one of you is going to be more open than the other the other's still going to shut down but I feel like it might be opposite mm. Someone wants to take a more peaceful approach, but the other doesn't. Okay, he's entangled. Someone's entangled in a web, web of lies. Be careful. Queen of Chalices is reversed. Mm. Queen of Cups reversed. They may show you a colder side, and I think it's that Emperor coming through. Or oh, they may be defensive over the X. And like, oh, I, I, I still need to talk to them because I need to sort out X, Y, and Z. Like, we have a house together. We have kids together, you know, which is fair enough if they have those things. But if there's nothing else sort of linking them and they're still standing up for them, it's obviously obviously something more going on that they're not telling you. There may be feelings. Now, High Priestess tells me they may have feelings they don't even know. So maybe they could be in denial. Like, no, no, I don't feel anything anymore. I'm good. But maybe they don't even know on a subconscious level. The moon can be subconscious. They don't even know that they have feelings for their ex still, but yet they do things that would signify they do. So 
especially if they still care about them, you'll see. Like if they're still lending them money or picking them up or helping their, you know, their kids and they're not even their kids, like it's their ex's kids, like obviously something's going on here. I feel like there is this imbalance and I don't think you're feeling loved because of that. Queen of Chalices, you feel like they're not focusing on your relationship and they're removing the love that you have together. So I get a vibe that yeah, you're not feeling not feeling all too good about this, Scorpio. I do feel like there's three people involved and everyone's a little bit lost. No one really knows what's going on. I think, I don't know. Scorpio, for some of you, I get that you're going to actually go over your person's, like you're going to go over your person and go straight to the ex. Like you're not even going to bother dealing with your person. You've already had the conversation. It didn't work the first time. So you're going to switch it up and you're going to go to this other person. Like if you've got a man, you're going to go straight to the female. You're going to message her. You're going to stalk her. You're going to go straight to her. Be careful because there could be some crazy stuff that goes down here. So be careful because it's, it could come back to you. You can get yourself involved in a tricky situation. You know, creating fake accounts and doing some fake stalking here. You could be caught. Okay, the Queen of Wands is jealousy. It's telling me you're driven by curiosity and jealousy, and that's why you'll do it. But be mindful of that because you could get caught. You will get caught. I do feel like someone's going to know. They're going to know straight away, King of Swords. This person's smart. They'll know. They'll, they'll definitely. I mean, they know who you are. They do. They've done some stalking on you, I think. They're aware that you're with their ex you know that they already know what's going on here i mean maybe maybe they're suffering and like seeing their ex and you happy together it's eating them up inside and maybe they're purposely trying to cause drama you know there's people like that out there um is it healthy no but i think or the high priestess is telling me your ex is uh, your person's ex still has feelings they didn't even know and then all of a sudden you might have gotten together with this person and they're like okay well now someone else has them now i want them back and it's always the way like we want things we can't have it's just it's so twisted but it's true okay so it could be coming from their end or they may message you scorpio you might get a message from your person's ex saying how long have you been together? What's going on here? You know, you might find some random accounts trying to follow you or some people that you don't really know about trying to inquire about what you're doing and who you are in your business. So they could be all up in your social media here trying to get the dirt on you. Driven by jealousy and curiosity in themselves. So very interesting reading, but I'm going to wrap it up there, Scorpio. So um, thank you again for tuning in. It does mean a lot and I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.